Okay, in this video we'll show you how to use the merge command which allows us to machine and create a shape that is uh, from two separate consoles at different Z levels. Okay, so I've started the CAD system, so we'll start a, uh, a drawing and we'll just first of all draw a circle, say 75 diameter, near snap to put it onto the datum position, and we'll do an ellipse and we'll set the major diameter to say 45 and the minor to say 30. Um, Okay, that will do that. Uh, now, when we're creating an ellipse, it's made up of a series of tangential arcs. So, what we need to do is we need to make sure that one of the arcs finishes on one of the cardinal points because that's where the contour will need to start with relationship to the start point on the uh, circle. Okay, so there's a position there at the 12 o'clock. So when we go into NC mode and create the contours, we can start off and create the ellipse first. And we'll make it one mil thick just so we can see it. And we'll say that that's going to be at Z0. So that creates that. Then we create the contour here. And the start angle will be 90 degrees on that circle so that it's going to start at the zero position, uh, the 12 o'clock position, so that's going to be at a similar uh, orientation to the uh, um, to the ellipse. Uh, the Z surface is below zero, so we'll say it's minus 35. Okay, so that creates us a circle, and then if we simply save this away, call it uh, merge one, and then we go into machining, set up the tool change and the home position, make sure the clearance plane is set correctly. So define our tool. Now when you're using the merge command you can use either a square ended tool, a bull nose tool which can have a corner radius, or it can be a, uh, a bull nose tool. So we set the length to be whatever we want that to be, and the cut depth. Okay. Then we select that tool for use using the M6 command, set the spin speed and the feed rate, and then we use the merge operation here. So the top contour is this one, and that's at Z0, and this one is at minus 35. <coughs> so we're cutting forward or reverse, we can offset the tool to the left or to the right, or with no offset. Under the options tab, we can either use constant Z level machining, so that will machine a number of contours in the uh, Z axis, and if we want to do that, we set the number. Okay, so if we run that, okay, let's just switch on centerline mode. Okay, in the ISO view. So each one of those contours is gradually changing shape uh, so that it would machine uh, a number of contours. So obviously if we wanted to do this properly we would have a much greater number there. And as an alternative to that method, you could use the other one, which is not to use constant Z level. And what that then does is it produces a tool path where the tool goes up and down. So if I just switch on the animation, you'll see that coming down there. That's going uh, very slowly. <coughs> Just on this video, but on your system, it'll go much, much quicker. Okay. So at any time, we can always switch into different modes. Okay. So that's going around the outside of there. Now you can see that the uh, the tool path is offset from those contours by the uh, tool radius. So going back into there. Um, 
if we wanted to and offset the tool to the right then obviously we'd be inside that and as a, an alternative we could just simply swap over those contours so that they're the opposite way round and it would machine circle at the top and the ellipse at the bottom so obviously you'd need just to go through and check these options um, and the other thing that you need to bear in mind is that the um, quality of the finish is set by the maximum span length on the surface here but also under the machine setup you've got a vector tolerance here which sets up the um, the amount of land which is going to be produced between each uh, vector when it's uh, uh, being vectored because obviously if we go back to uh, this mode where we have constant Z level machining then those contours are going to be vectored to make a number of small linear movements for each one of those contours so if we just look at the plan view Okay, so the vector tolerance will um, determine the um, the coarseness or the fineness of uh, that. Uh, so that's how you do the merge command.